Let's go, guys. Coming out. Welcome back everyone. I am on my own this weekend. Greg is on a bike trip, so I'm gonna be working on some projects by myself. Uh, to start off this morning, I'm going to get some leftover Tonga Groove wood into the closet upstairs. We're gonna be doing the outside of the closet with the pine beetle shiplap like we did on the stairs and in our little entryway closet. But inside the closet, I just wanted to do the, the Tonga Groove. I'm gonna paint it white so it's nice and bright in there. And uh, yeah, we've got little scrap pieces left over from the bathroom wall and the ceiling. So it's a perfect way to use it up. And, and then I'm gonna be working on siding the barn. So uh, we've got these little clips that you can use to get the siding, to hold the siding in place. And it um, makes sure that the, the overlap is the same on each piece. So fairly simple. I'll be able to do it myself. I think the hardest part is going to be carrying the 12 foot pieces around because they're so floppy and they can't bend or they will break. So yeah, that'll be the most difficult part. With that, we're just going to get into it. I'm going to get all of my supplies upstairs on the flat roof so that I can start cutting the pieces to the exact size that they need to be. Before we get started, I wanted to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Anchor. And this Anchor portable power station is going to be powering this project today. So I'm not going to have extension cords running all over the place, being a tripping hazard. This Anchor 767 portable power station features a 2000 watt inverter and a 2048 watt hour capacity in batteries. This can actually be doubled by purchasing the expandable battery pack and adding it onto this, bringing you up to 4,096 watt hours. Anchor does offer many units in different sizes and all of them feature the dependable LFP batteries that remain in a healthy state even after 3,000 charge cycles. This 767 unit is the world's first GAN powered portable power station, which makes it ultra efficient. And this can actually charge from zero to 100% in just two hours on AC power, or if you plug in the thousand watts of solar power, you can actually bring it up to 100% in two and a half hours. Today's project, I'm just gonna be using a pretty small little saw. It's barely gonna put a dent in this unit's capacity, but there are just so many uses for these things. There's all of the different plugins, including an RV plug, so you can plug your RV straight into this. Um, this is a great unit for backup power if the grid ever goes down or you have a weekend cabin that you want to just have something 
portable that you can take with you out there for the weekend. And of course, I cannot forget to mention Anchor's unprecedented five-year peace of mind warranty, which keeps you covered for three years longer than the average portable power station. Now that spring is in full swing, Anchor is offering up to $550 in discounts and they are giving away some free gifts with the purchase of the 767 portable power station. So click the link down in our description to check it out. And a big thank you to Anchor for sponsoring this video and keeping us powered at our off-grid property. All right, I've got the top pieces with the angle cuts in it. And I did that by finding the point on the wall when the full width of the board wouldn't fit anymore. And then I marked down what the width of the smallest side would be. And then I just drew a straight line in between. And uh, I did test run one of them and it worked. I had to do the opposite for the other side of the wall so I didn't get the stain on the outside and uh, now I'm gonna try and put them in see if they will work in the ceiling when we wanted to uh, install the very last piece the piece before that we cut the back of the groove off so that the tongue didn't have to fight in so I didn't do that this time so we'll see how that goes hopefully that's not gonna be a problem because that piece is in, I can't take it out to cut out the, the groove, so see how this goes.
All right, now that this is done, I'm going to paint it to match the walls so it's nice and bright. We've got tons of paint left over. And now I think we will be more motivated to get this closet built out because we've just been using this black shelf which doesn't fit in there and just kind of a mess. So I'm looking forward to getting this just properly finished and we can actually store things in there. Um, and I'm thinking lately that we want to build a big closet right in here as well. We weren't quite sure where we wanted to put a second one, but I think that's going to be the best spot. We were kind of thinking about putting an air conditioning unit up there, but we're starting to think maybe above these windows or kind of in the staircase where it's out of the way will be a good spot so that it can cool upstairs and still go downstairs as well. So. Yeah, I guess I will get all of my painting supplies ready for this and uh, get going with that. That is finished. I've got two coats of paint on there. I did a fresh coat on the back as well so that it's just looking a little fresher. I think we are gonna have to redo all of the walls in the house because white paint. <laughs> I don't know why we thought white paint would be a good idea. We should really just do brown paint so that you can't see all of the dirt and all of the kitty cat footprints under the windows. <laughs> but. Yeah, this turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. I'm looking forward to getting a proper closet in and to getting the actual blue p blue stained pine on the walls as well. That's gonna look so good. On to the next project. To start off this morning, I'm gonna finish gluing down the rubber on the roof. Uh, we got one side done before he left and we got the, the other side prepared, but it looked like it was gonna rain, so we just left it. Uh, it didn't end up raining, <laughs> so I could have done it then, but you just never know. Got clouds over today, but I think I should be able to get it down. It's not very big, so it shouldn't take that long. So I think I'm gonna fly the drone up and you can watch me glue down this rubber.
All right, I've got the roof, the rubber, roof rubber glued down. Uh, I think that went pretty well. I don't know if I did too, if I did thick enough with the glue on the first half, but I did go around the edges and uh, re-glue them. So at least the edges will stick. I'm not sure how the center did. And then the other half, I just did a lot more glue. So there's no glue left in that bucket. So I went pretty thick and it seemed to be sticking better. So I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna be putting material on top of that anyways. It's gonna be weighed down and it won't be an issue. So now I'm going to switch back to the siding. Juniper, no digging, no digging. I'm going to switch back to working on the siding. I think I'm gonna try and finish the two uh, front walls with the door in it. I've got little short pieces to go there. And yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. Well, I thought I could get fancy and cut out the window from this piece, but we're not there yet. It's far too advanced for me, so I'm doing what we did on the other side and just a little piece on either side of the window, and then we'll do the little three inch strip later. Uh, yeah, we did that on the other side. Once it's caulked and painted, you won't even notice it, but we're just not there yet. I'm gonna start working on the other sides now because I'm getting close to the window it's not quite perfectly level so I'm just gonna leave that until Craig is here because I just don't want to make the problem bigger and it's just gonna be easy and quick if I start working on the sides so because I don't have extra hands to hold up the long boards that don't fit on the table I've brought over our greenhouse stand, our plant starts, to hold the weight of the board while I cut it over here.
comes the uh, spring thunderstorms. So I guess we're going in now. <laughs> Come on, boo -hoo. Well, I gone pretty far on this wall. I think I'm going to move over to the other side now and start using the big pieces up again and uh, save this one for later. Starting to get to the tricky pieces that are up on the ladder. So let's keep it simple and stay low for today, but it's looking really good. And honestly, the color is kind of growing on me. I think it looks really nice with this natural wood and the, the light brown metal on the bottom, actually it just works really well. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I don't think I wanna do the whole house in this color, but maybe the color of our house will work with the blue and we can actually leave this. We could keep elements of like the, the natural wood on the house and do a color that would kind of work with the blue, so. We'll see. I thought I had my choice made for the color, but now, now we're starting to think we should price out this hardy board and price out metal sheets as well to see which would be more affordable. But if we end up going with the hardy board, then I'm going to have to change all my colors from what I thought I was doing. And it's just so hard to choose the color for the house because we're gonna be spending, I don't even know how much, 10 to $15,000. And this is the only color I've seen in real life. We're gonna do two different colors or patterns. So it's just really hard to picture it. Yeah, I'm going to move over to this side. I got our neighbor to help me carry over some more boards because I could only carry one at a time, but with two people we can carry seven because they're just so floppy and if they bend too much, they will break. So 
yeah, it was good. I got him to help me bring over 14 boards, which should keep me busy for quite a while. So, ah, just gonna keep going. Well, I think I've gone as far as I can go today. I got a couple up on this side, but I'm finding we uh, need to add some blocking here to attach the siding to. And I'm getting hungry. I don't really have the energy to start changing nail guns and unplugging things and finding what I need to get that done. So I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here, call it a day. Probably gonna wrap up the video here as well. We've got tons, tons of progress for this video. So with that, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave a comment down below and uh, have a great week.